Hello, little ladies and gentlemen. I'll be casting for you today a game between G Girl here on the top red team and Rafi Taffy here on the bottom blue team. This map is Lava Bridge, and I hope this game doesn't pick up too soon because I want to have a uh, discuss a little bit of a political issue here with you guys. So. Yeah, I think the Marxist state against the capitalism society... No, it's nothing like that. It will be something that actually has a little bit to do with online gaming and such. As, we're pl as I'm recording this today, we, we have the 2016 Olympics happening. And to be honest, I haven't seen much of the games because, well, I don't know a television and I don't know if any of you guys has searched online, but there are no streams, at least not official streams for the Olympic Games. And I think that is uh, pretty, uh, pretty outdated, to be honest. You know, we have StarCraft tournaments and all kinds of esports that happen all the year round and you can watch them for free online how is it possible that the olympic games the biggest sports event that happens once every four years how come they don't have an internet streaming and you know it would be all fine they don't need to have an uh, streaming online f for free but in the opening ceremony the Olympic Committee president said that this these Olympic Games were meant to join the world for everyone uh, to watch them together in this time of great turmoil it was a very beautiful speech but I guess he meant that these games would only join together those who have money to pay for cable or money to watch the game on the stadium because you know even if you go there to beautiful rio de janeiro you you can't watch the games for free so yeah that's a little bit of a rant until the game picked up and now we're here with g girl doing quite a bit of harass to the enemy mining workers and this soldier is pretty low on health I guess if our friend here Hefi Tefi had attacked the soldier with his workers even now he would be able to get rid of him in just a couple of blows but yeah that wa that wasn't too bad both players are pretty equal in mining time and Reftef is going for the counter-attack. Okay, maybe not. Um, G-Girl is still attacking here. Reftef is going to spend, which is pretty smart of him. And, you know, this attack will do some damage. But I don't think it will actually end the game and there are no reinforcements coming here for G-Girl and I'd like to thank G-Girl for sending me this replay I know she has a YouTube channel of her own I'll post the link below I hope this is a good game to watch and cast with you guys the expansion here is being delayed quite a bit but it's just a matter of Rafi Taffy pulling uh, a worker here to complete it. So it's not a very big deal, though he could have been a little faster about it. But he'll get his, his expansion going soon, no problem. Meanwhile, G Girl is getting her third base as well, which is going fine for her. She. She did quite a bit of uh, macro oriented opening in the early game she's now in three bases with just two barracks and only one forge on the way for upgrades 
she isn't mining here yet. The harass from Refitepi's workers makes her turn back to defend. I guess a she could build a tower here as well, which would be pretty good for her. And as I've said, she's got quite a bit of an economic opening. She made very little barracks and army producing uh, buildings. And she's already on, on three bases, I'm sorry. While his opponent is on the same amount of bases, but he's going for a wolf's composition against two barracks so far. I guess this will give Rafi Taffy a little more punching power, so to speak, against the girl who's struggling a little bit here, but he's gonna clean this attack very soon, as we speak, actually. And the tower, as I said, coming on. And that's pretty fun. I always like to, to watch these games where each player has a very different build because each build plays very differently and we can analyze the powers and weaknesses of each build. Here, an attack in the middle of the map. As you can see, there are a lot more wolves but wolves are pretty weak against soldiers. But I guess here, there are so many wolves that Rafi Taffy will be actually in a pretty good spot. He'll be able to clean this army and go for the counterattack if he wishes to do, to do so. Which I guess he does, because he has a lot of wolf stands. And he needs to use them quickly, because... Above there, G-Girl has a forge going on already, and as soon as those upgrades start coming in, she'll be able to overpower the wolves without upgrades. Even with upgrades, wolves are very good against barrack units. As you saw in this battle here, despite having a very larger number of wolves, the fight went okay for G-Girl, and she hadn't, I don't think she had upgrades back to then. Now she has, plus one upgrade for damage. So, this fight isn't gonna end too well for Rafi Taffy, because they now have the similar amount of units, G-Girl has the upgrades, and these wolves are not gonna be very useful. As I was talking before, it's nice to see different builds. Uh, G-Girl is gonna attack and leave her base undefended. That's pretty ballsy of her. She's pretty... She's pretty confident on her units. But it, she's doing great because it forces Rafi Taffy to come back. Her micro is pretty good here, he's putting the low health units be behind the better units, so they don't get crushed and killed by this tower. And this was a... this has been a pretty good build for her. The tower is almost going down, Rafi Taffy is supply blocked, I believe, yeah. He can't produce any more units until his wolves die, which is... A big problem if you're going with four wolves dens, because then you have to build at least four houses too to get a big army. Hefi Taffy has kept this tower alive, which was very good for him. And back to what I was saying about the builds, the strength or going for a lot of dens is that you can get to do a lot of damage in the early game, especially with 4 dens. But Rafi Taffy hasn't been able to. It's almost 10 minutes into this game, and he's done very little damage so far, and now G-Girl's units are already on plus 2 upgrades, plus 2 damage, no, no armor upgrades. 
so so I guess the wolves are gonna be pretty weak compared to them he's able to do a little damage here but not very much oops my mouse bugged out for a moment there finally able to take down this tower which the girl wanted to do earlier on Raffitef is micro also decent here he moved the he's moved the damaged dragons away so they can regenerate their health again doing that just a few units here but Raffitef needs more houses so he can build more wolves to deal with this Not sure what's happening to my screen. I hope this doesn't end up ruining this this cast. But yeah, pretty back and forth game here. All right, now a werewolf coming out from Raffitaffy, which is gonna, of course, do better against barrack units. But he needs to gather his defense because there are you know, maybe ov over 10, maybe almost 20 units here coming from G-Girl. She has the upgrades. And these wolves are going to do absolutely nothing. Raffi Taffy is aware of that and he says, well, I'm not going to sacrifice my wolves. I'm going to go for the counterattack, do some damage to my enemy base. To my enemy's base, sorry. But meanwhile... I'm under the impression that G-Girl is doing more damage here. She's destroying the, the wolf stance, but that's not really a priority target, because the wolves are pretty much useless right now on this game. She should be going for the castle instead, which she is. So both players have a pretty good sense of what's happening. But now G girl is mining from three bases. Um, her main base is about to die very, very soon. But she's got the units to defend here. Meanwhile, she's doing a lot of damage to the second base of his opponent, which is very soon gonna going to be mining from only one base too, because his main base is mining out in about a minute or so. So yeah, I guess that's, that's gonna be game. Yeah, even with the werewolf here, I don't think this... There is any chance that Raffitef is gonna come back from this game. So yeah, here comes the GG from Raffitef. The GG from G-Girl. It was a good game, not very long. And again, as I said, this was a battle of builds, so to speak. Because Raffi Taffy went for a lot of wolves early game. He made four wolf stands, which is actually a lot. And he didn't build enough houses. When you go wolves, you need to do a lot of damage early on because the wolves from mid game on after 10 minutes the wolves are gonna be pretty much useless unless you turn the dance into werewolf dance and that's what you saw here as soon as the girl had a few upgrades she was fine even only in, in two or three barracks she was very uh, ahead and able to deal with the wolves from Raffitefis. Thanks again, G Girl, for sending me this. It was a good game. I always want to call her GG Girl because you know GG, but I guess her name is G Girl, not GG Girl. And to close off on what I was saying in the early game about the Olympics and about the speech that the Olympic Committee president made. He said that this was an Olympic event 
to bring the whole world together. But, well, if you don't have a cable subscription, you won't be able to watch the the all the games. You'll be able to watch the the games that are on open TV, like football, volleyball, and this sort of stuff. And I find this very funny because, as I've said, there are many esports which you can watch for free all, all of, of the games, like StarCraft and other esports. And as a person who doesn't own a TV or cable, I, I have been watching a lot of StarCraft and casting these games for you guys is something I like to do in return. I know I'm not the best caster ever, but you know, if you guys can have a little fun and maybe learn something about Little War game, as I cast these games, that's fine for me because I watch a lot of games of StarCraft, for example, for free on the internet. And this is a, a little bit of a way of doing the same for Little War game, which is also a free game that anyone can play. And for that, I want to thank Jibs because he's the real MVP here. He's made a game everyone can play for free, can enjoy for free. And this is really something that I think brings the world together. Actually, a lot more than the Olympic events of this year, which are actually maybe just a way to make money by selling the transmission rights to the television channels. So yeah, Jibs, if you're listening to this, thank you for the great work. I hope your other game, Slay One, is also going well, though it's not really my style, so I haven't played much. But thank you for making this great game, this great free game, everyone can play for free on the browser. I hope it gets a lot bigger, and I'm happy to know that you'll be going to work, work again on the game to bring us better and enhanced versions with new units and, and such. And hopefully I'll be able to cast more games like that for all of the community. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And down below in the description, you'll be able to find my email. If you want to send me your own games for me to cast, I'll be very pleased to cast them. Hopefully it will be fun for us all to watch also. So thanks for watching. See you guys next game.